What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, we are gonna take a look at the new Intrepid 8x10 third generation camera. Now, as a matter of full disclosure, I did not buy this camera. This was provided to me by the folks at Intrepid to show you guys. I'm not being paid for this video. There's no requirement that I do this video. Uh, it was just provided to me so that I can give my thoughts on it and share some of the new changes on this camera. I have prior experience with the first and second generation cameras. Uh, this one is heavily based on the second generation and I use those cameras as my lightweight backpacking camera kit. So with that all being said, let's take a look at the third generation Intrepid 8x10. So let's start by taking a look at the front standard. This is where there are several significant changes. Uh, first and foremost, you'll notice that these knobs look a bit different than on the previous generation. Uh, the outside knob has a much different feel than the inside knob. The outside knob is gonna control the front tilt. And you'll hear something different here. So it's very smooth, but there is a click, a detent at the zeroed position, which is gonna make the camera faster to set up, which is very much appreciated. Uh, the inner knobs are gonna be for doing the front rise and fall. And uh, that is fairly similar to the way the cameras were before. Uh, on the front, on the lower part here, you'll see a little scale on either side. This allows you to line up the front standard so that it is zeroed out. And there are also some notches in the wood that allow you to make the swing uh, all zeroed out as well. If I remove the lens, first of all, this right here is a different material than the previous one. If I pull this off, you'll see that there's some black felt on the inside. Uh, also, it looks like this is a bit of a beefier material for the front. I never had any issues with the stability of the front standard. Also, I am using pretty light weight lenses, so it's not exactly put it too much of a test. Um, I very much prefer using the lenses that are nice and lightweight because I use this as my backpacking camera. Uh, if we look at the side of the camera, not too much has changed other than the front standard being a little beefier and different knobs. This part to me looks fairly similar, but we'll see that the rear standard is gonna have some changes as well. So those of you with a keen eye might notice that there is a Fresnel screen on here, which is a very welcome change. The other changes have to do with the way that the uh, rear rotating back is taken off and latched into place. Uh, so we have these little black latches on either side right here, which are probably gonna be hard to see in the video, but when they're in the down position, it's latched in place. So you use gravity as a assist in this regard. If I move them upward, now I can remove the back, but it's held in place by some pretty strong magnets. So I'm going to uh, pull the back off just like this. And you can see there are four magnets there around each side. There's some more of the felt in place there. And if I want to change the orientation, I simply put it back in place here and then I rotate these guys down to lock it in place. So pretty straightforward in that regard. It looks like they also beefed up the springs here on the back to give it a bit more holding power, which is always welcomed, especially when shooting vertical, which is a bit more tricky when putting the dark slides back in. Um, also worth noting, the knob on this is a little bit different, same functionality when it comes to focusing. And one of the things I really do appreciate about their design is if I focus this out a little bit and I push on it, I try to pull it, it does not budge. So it does not require a lock, it will stay where it was. And this is also true for the second generation as well. Uh, but these are the changes that I've noticed on it. So it's basically a more refined version of the second generation and uh, pretty impressive what they've been able to do. So I wanna thank everyone for watching. We'll see you around next time. <laughs>